Welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Prepare the Way by Joe Engelkemeyer. Today's reading is January the 4th, The Limits of the Lay. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. 2 Peter 3, verse 10. The day of the Lord will come. Though the return of Christ has been postponed through decade after decade, there comes a point beyond which it can be delayed no longer. And that point may come not so much through the exhausting of divine patience as through the buildup of pressures within society it's itself. For example, as the 1960s drew to a close, United Nations Secretary General Yu Thant warned on May 9, 1969, that this world may have perhaps 10 years left to solve its problems, urging a global partnership to curb the arms race, to improve the environment, and to defuse the population explosion. He declared, if such a global partnership is not formed within the next decade, then I very much fear that the problems I have mentioned will have reached such stag staggering proportions that they will be beyond our capacity to control. At about the same time, an authority on the population explosion, Stanford University biologist Paul R. Ehrlich was asked, how long can the world last at the present rate of population growth? His reply, estimates vary between 1975 and 1984, as the time the end will come. These estimates are based on the point where the population growth exceeds the minimum diet available from food production. This biologist conceded that with very good growing years, the end might be held off till somewhere between 1985 and 1980. But it is already too late, he contends, to keep millions upon millions of people from starving. The battle to feed all of humanity is over, he warns predicting that hundreds of millions of people are going to starve to death in spite of any crash programs embarked upon now. We do not set dates, but could it be that we are reaching the limits of delay? Now, as we know, we're in 2015 as we record this program, and this was written in 1972. They estimated 1975, 1984, and on a good note, 1985 to 1990 max for um, starvation taking over global collapse. But we are still in 2015 at the time of this recording. And we, we're not to forget, as we did in the previous reading, it's because of the mercy of God. Because once again, the people are still not ready. So we're not to scoff at the fact that they're off. And once again, I said, we don't set dates. But the key point I want to note is that there are 7 billion people on the world now. And one truth that they have is that even more millions upon millions are dying. And it's true that God will not allow the suffering to continue for much longer. Once again, we don't know when, but the point is suffering is getting worse and worse and worse and God and mercy will now have to bring time short so let's pray once again to get ready and pray for God's mercy or for the work to be done in us during this time of delay let us pray and Heavenly Father we praise you for being a loving merciful, caring God. We thank you for these things. We praise you for just being God, a God of love. Praise you for being love. Praise Christ for being our Savior, our mediator, our intercessor, the Holy Spirit, our comforter. Lord, we confess that as we did, that we are sinners. We have not done the work that we should do. And because of this, the world continues on and there is suffering and there is pain and there is death. There is so much famine, starvation going on. There's so much destruction. And Lord, you're simply holding back, but we know that there will come a time when you cannot hold back anymore. 
So Lord, help us to take advantage of these hours, these days we have, and help us to pray, to get on our knees and pray. Help us to get in the word and study, then help us to go out and do the work. First, do the work in us, prepare us, purge us of sin, remove all filth from us, and let people see you in us. Then help us to go out and share this wonderful gospel with others, that they can join and share the gospel and the world can be reached. And then you can bring all this pain and suffering to an end and take us to heaven to be with you forever. We thank you. We praise you. And we know we can only pray this through the mercies of Jesus. So we claim it through his blood, through his righteousness. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.